This is my MPC-1, and this is 3.4.3 with the operating system. What I want to do is take the tracks on here and put them in my computer and put them in my MPC-2.15.1. Press play start. Okay, good. What I want to do is make sure all these pads will be on separate track. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to go to here right here. And I'm going to hit explode track. So now it's going to explode those parts, each drum part, each drum pad, into a separate track. As it does, it will mute the first track that has everything on it. So you can see right here, now we have a lot of tracks. So now what I want to do is I'd like to export these files. I'm going to go to menu. And menu, I'll click save. And I want to go to audio mix down. Now what you see here, it's going to go to stereo. We don't want that. You want to go to separate. That's your separate track. So we select that separate tracks. No need to export the returns at all. I'm going to make sure my file format is WAV, bit depth 24, and it says 44.1. I'll say export. Now to export all this stuff out, I need to get me a place to save it. I got a hard drive. So I got a drive right here called stuff. You can see I can eject it from there. I'll select this. I want to put it in a separate folder. I go to right here, make a brand new folder, and I'll name this folder. I name this folder confess. I'll press do it. Okay. The folder name has been chosen, and you'll see here in the very top that says stuff it, then it says confess. So now I want to name these files as they go in. So I'm going to change the name here. And so you see right here, the file names will be confess now. I'm going to press save. And now it's saving all these files. It's file one. It's file two. It's saving all the files in here directly into the MPC. A whole bunch of stems are being saved. And in places I'll select stuff. And now it's up and it appears on top. And there's my folder. Let me open this folder. And now all the files are on here. And you see the first name on there, they all say confess. Now these tracks are done. The pads are here. Let's play that track actually. Let's stop it, take it from the top. There you go. Before you heard the speakers, now you're hearing it inside my system here inside of the computer. Let's stop this. So we got like about 16 different tracks here. And what we want to do is put it into this API computer system. And this is the latest thing pretty much. API is a mixing board, very intense. It's got everything you need to record great music and to record an album. What's up, guys? Now, before I continue, remember, we are SampleKings.com. We can do your album here on the internet. It's kind of cool. I can also teach you a lot of stuff. So let's scroll down here in our website. You'll see right here, we do lessons. I don't care what country you're in. I don't care if you're on another planet. We can help you out. As you can see, this is obvious. You can use Cash App, you can use Venmo, or you can use PayPal. It says right here, Sample Kings Recording Studios. We can make albums here for you and get them done properly. Or I can give you lessons and teach you how to do everything. It's just $20 an hour. Cash App is my code to use Cash App. Next, this is Venmo. Here's the code with Venmo. Now you can click right here that says PayPal. This is Venmo, it says Cash App. It takes you there. You scroll down here. You pick what you want to learn. It's all here. MPC, Logic, Final Cut, uh, SP1200, Mastering, Machine, Mixing, FL Studio. It makes no difference. 
I'm a recording engineer. I know how to work everything. So I'm open Luna right here. Let's close this out here. And open Luna from here. Let's see if this video will work. And there's Luna. We're launching Luna here. We'll pick a track you want to get up into. And we're going to pull up this one right here. So this is my template here I've got for my session. I want to drag these files directly into this session in Luna, like I would do in Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton Live. Once I do it, imports the files, and then we can start mixing the project up. As you can see, it's pretty quick. And Luna's ready to go. Matter of fact, I'll turn the NPC off. As you can see, I've been recording the tracks into here. We're using this system to create an album. It's got a really great sound to it, and we're creating albums for our clients as well. This is kind of hot. And if you need help to learn how to use this system, we do teach this too as well. You'll see here we have Lexicon right here. Some of the top applications in plugins. And these are just like the originals too as well. It makes it much more easy for us to make a track and to really have a lot of fun doing it. Let's go back to our NPC. It's still in sync. I'll come back to the top here. Those tracks are already in the system. I'm running the MPC along with Luna. And it's smooth. As you can see here, this is Luna. It's a pretty big mixing board I designed here. You'll see the first track here is the kick drum. I've got a group here, which is my drum group. As I move the faders up and down here, they can become one group. So I'm going to select all these faders, make sure they become one group again here. But I got a better idea. I'll come up here to the top. I'll click here, and I'll select the drum group. And now my faders will move together in unison. That's pretty cool, right? And let's close out of this right here. So I have everything into groups. I even have an MPC inside of here, right? I can come here to the top right here. And this is my instrument track right there. And you'll see here it says MPC. I'll pull it up. And there it is. It comes right up. Now, this is so cool to have it in there. And so I got parts here that are in here. Let me go this. Let me go back here and turn this off here. And you'll see it's muted. I'll come back to it again. You can hear the difference compared to having the MPC as a regular app on my computer. This is the MPC inside of Luna. And so I put some tracks in here. I've got a couple tracks here, the drums. I've got to add more. But as you can see, this is a pretty big mixing board, like the real thing, which is the API mixing board. You'll see here we have even Neve summing amps right here. And so to cut across this, you'll see I have the bass here next to my MPC track. The samples are right here in red. I have a delay, reverb, hall reverb, compressor, special effects, all right here in my system. Keyboards, right here. They're already recorded, they're in the system. I have electric piano, right here, two tracks. We've got the move, my synths, all right here. Strings, right here. And they're all set up into groups. So I know what to do with them how to set them up for when I send to a control room, for someone to do vocals. This is a really great system to use. Now, talk is cheap. Let's just play this back a little bit here. And you can see here, this is also part of the mixing console on the original system. Matter of fact, I'll turn the NBC off. As you can see, I've been recording the tracks into here. We're using this system to create an album. It's got a really great sound to it, and we're creating albums for our clients as well. 
This is kind of hot. If you need help to learn how to use this system, we do teach this too as well. You'll see here we have Lexicon right here. Some of the top applications in plugins. And these are just like the originals too as well. It makes it much more easy for us to make a track and to really have a lot of fun doing it. Let's go back to our NPC. It's still in sync. I'll come back to the top here. Those tracks are already in the system. I'm running the NPC along with Luna. And it's smooth. All the tracks are here. 